to talk a little bit more about innovation and censorship. You have 30 million followers on your Sina Weibo account, which is the equivalent of Twitter, and yet uh, your account was at one point blocked recently. Twitter remains blocked, Facebook remains blocked in China. Can true innovation happen in China if censorship continues at its current rate? I, I think censorship is more an issue of uh, freedom of expression, so I don't necessarily associate it with a uh, suppression of innovation. Um, smart companies can build products that users need, and there are so many user needs in light of the mobile connectivity right now. So at Innovation Works, we are very focused on leveraging the one single unique aspect in China, which is that the mobile market is going to be two or three times larger than the U.S. mobile market, while the labor force, the cost of hiring engineers, only one quarter. So you can imagine the opportunity we have for an entrepreneur to uh, come up with an idea, build it for one quarter of the cost, and have an addressable market that's two or three times larger. So for innovation, I think everything is blossoming. Um, now, when you talk about what happens when users can't see Facebook, Twitter, and all the greatest new innovations from uh, Silicon Valley, I think that may have a long-term impact, uh, which means uh, there's not a platform for people to communicate and also to be using the most advanced uh, technologies in the world. I think long term that would be potentially an issue, but in the meantime, with one quarter the cost and two or three times the market size, the innovation, uh, the innovation and entrepreneurial world is really blossoming. What's your outlook for the new regime, President Xi Jinping, Premier Li Keqiang, and their approach to censorship? Do you get any sense that they're going to be more open? Well, on the censorship issue, I think uh, instead of comparing it with what's in the U.S., we, we might also compare it with what was in China three or five years ago. So before the uh, onset of social media, uh, the traditional media actually is a lot more restricting. So China has gone from a, almost a fully restricted uh, journalistic environment to one that is quite... Uh, tremendously more open than it's ever been. Uh, you know, orders of magnitude, hundreds of times more open. So now people are still leveraging all that relative openness. So I think it's, uh, it, it, that's, I think that's been a phenomenal growth that people need to recognize and anticipate that will do more good things for China. Now for the, uh, the new leaders, uh, we're hearing a lot of positive signals about a willingness to listen to criticism, about um, um, anti-corruption, uh, about um, um, uh, creating more of rule, rule of law. I think all the words are in the right words, and I hope we will soon see actions that match those words. And yet, what do you think is the likelihood that a Facebook, for example, will ever be unblocked in China or will be able to succeed in China in some way? I mean, I've talked to experts who have said it's never going to happen. <laughs> Well, ever is a really long time, but uh, in, in Internet time, I think it's unrealistic to think that uh, Facebook would be um, accessible in China anytime soon, uh, which really implies that uh, the Facebook's opportunities in China is going to be very, very limited, uh, because even if Facebook could enter China at this stage, there are already very strong local equivalent products. Uh, actually, not exactly equivalent, not copycats, but occupying the same space and um, really controlling the social chain that's very, the very essence of social networks. So um, I think for Facebook, the issue is kind of a um, missed opportunity. Uh, maybe earlier, there could have been some kind of um, joint venture or entry. Uh, but at this stage, it's uh, really too late, even, even if it were permitted to enter. And yet, I find it inter interesting that Instagram is actually not blocked in China. Facebook, of course, owns Instagram now. Do you think that could be a loophole for Facebook to, to play a bigger role in China? I, I think it's going to be difficult because uh, it's actually harder to, uh, uh, to ensure fo photos are meeting with um, um, censorship expectations than text. So um, I'm... My family is enjoying Instagram. I hope we can enjoy it a little bit longer.